Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's GTA video, I'm going to be running you through a weekend recap of all the GTA 6 news that has happened really over the last 48 hours, including one of the voice actors and motion capture artists finally speaking out about his potential involvement in the game. Was Grand Theft Auto 6's trailer uploaded to Rockstar's YouTube channel? And have we already started to see promotion for the game? on a Twitch channel live stream. We'll be talking about all those topics in this video today and a whole lot more. All right, so let's begin with a Grand Theft Auto 6 voice actor finally speaking out. And we basically know of two Grand Theft Auto 6 actors as they stand. One of them is Tim Neff and another is Jorge Consejo. Now their involvement with Grand Theft Auto 6 is not necessarily new. But there have been some new developments. And today we're going to be specifically focusing on Jorge Consejo. So again, we've covered this in the past. This isn't relatively new information. But on Jorge Consejo's resume page, under video games and film, he actually has his latest role listed for Grand Theft Auto 6, which was captured in 2018. His role was the Mexican... And this, of course, was done for Rockstar Games. And so that was actually spotted a couple of years ago. Again, nothing relatively new. And if you've been following GTA 6 rumors for a while now, you'll know of his potential involvement. And even if you look on his Instagram page, there's a lot of posts of him doing motion capture work and uh, being on sound stages and film sets and movie studios. So it's very clear he's involved in a lot of projects. And then back on July 9th, 2019, another user asked Jorge Consejo, or I should say they said, nobody will read this tweet, but you heard it here first. Jorge Consejo is in GTA 6. And he retweeted and responded to that saying, I can neither confirm nor deny this, but I did read your tweet with a winky face. It's kind of an interesting response claiming that someone thinks you're in a particular video game. So I found that to be a little bit strange. And as you guys know, the hype for Grand Theft Auto 6 has been building and building, particularly over the last couple of weeks as new rumors and reports begin to surface, saying the game's announcement and reveal is imminent. And because of this, a lot of people have not only been asking Rockstar for Grand Theft Auto 6, but also have been reaching out to any known entity associated with the future GTA title. And that includes voice actor and motion capture artist Jorge Consejo, which apparently he has received a ton of Grand Theft Auto 6 messages, and he officially responded with this. On March 27th, 2020 at 12.30 p.m., he said, Dear friends, while I read every message from you, please know that because of contract stipulations, sometimes I'm unable to comment on certain projects. Please don't feel ignored or unseen. I appreciate and value every single one of you with a heart emoji and a peace sign emoji. And even though he doesn't reference Grand Theft Auto 6 here, I think it's pretty clear that this is what he's talking about. Remember, he's been getting an influx of comments about Grand Theft Auto 6. We obviously know how many rumors and reports are currently out there and that he, according to his own resume, is in Grand Theft Auto 6 playing the role as the Mexican. And in case you guys are wondering what he's talking about with contract stipulations, all these voice actors and motion capture artists have to sign non-disclosure agreements, NDAs, which means they're not allowed to talk or discuss about current projects that they're working on until the person creating the project essentially reveals it or until they're given permission to reveal it. So if he is in GTA 6, which I think it's likely, He's unable to talk about it because he signed an NDA. And breaking those NDAs would have some serious legal ramifications. Now, we've also speculated this in the past, but I think it is interesting to talk about what his potential character would be. He's just simply known as the Mexican. And he could either be a very small side character, but I would imagine if in 2018 he was already doing motion capture work and voice acting for GTA 6, I would think it's a pretty serious character. And the most famous Mexican character, I would say, in the GTA series is probably Martin Madrazo. 
You guys know Martin Madrazo. He's the head of his own Mexican-American drug cartel, and he eventually settled in Los Santos. And if rumors are to be believed, many people think Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be taking place in Vice City back in the 80s, where the original Vice City game took place. Well, that's when Martin Madrazo actually rose to fame. He even married his wife, Patricia, in 1983. So could Jorge Consejo be a young Martin Madrazo? If that's the case, why wouldn't they just bring back the original voice actor for Martin Madrazo so that they could have the exact same voice? I don't know. Again, there's so much speculation at this point, I don't want to dive into it all that much. But it looks like GTA 6 actor Jorge Consejo has finally responded to people asking about him being in Grand Theft Auto 6, which is definitely kind of interesting. And it's just a friendly reminder, remember to not like harass anyone, don't harass Rockstar, don't harass people like Jorge Consejo. You're obviously free to ask any questions you want, but if you just like spam someone's replies on Twitter or someone's, you know, inbox on Instagram or Facebook with like, where's GTA 6? Is GTA 6 coming out now? That can probably be kind of obnoxious and don't be surprised if you end up getting blocked by one of these individuals. Now, moving on to the second thing we're going to be talking about today, that is a mysterious GTA 6 countdown live stream that has appeared, and a lot of players are getting kind of confused about this. So the Twitch channel is literally GTA VI. I'll leave a link to it in the description. And what it is, is it's basically this Grand Theft Auto 6 artwork with a Rockstar Games logo. And it has a countdown timer of, at least when I'm recording this video, of about three days left, which would essentially end either close to March 31st or April 1st, which we know is April Fool's Day. And it also has some info in the description. It says, welcome to our official Grand Theft Auto 6 Twitch channel. Throughout the next coming days, we'll be broadcasting announcements and sneak peeks live through the power of Twitch. Make sure to click that follow button so you can keep up to date with all the updates coming straight out of Vice City. And they also have links to Rockstar Games, social media platforms, the Social Club, Twitch Prime site. And at a first glance, you would assume that maybe this is legitimate, that this is coming directly from Rockstar, though this is unfortunately fake. And even though all of this looks pretty exciting, it is 100% fake. This is not coming from Rockstar's official Twitch account, which they have one of those, by the way, where they do live streams and whatnot. It looks like this was just a fan-made account that was very fortunate enough to get the URL GTA VI on Twitch. And I'll leave a link to it in the description, but there's a good chance by the time I'm uploading this video, it might already be removed. Uh, I think it's very plausible that Rockstar does not want someone impersonating them on Twitch with a Grand Theft Auto 6 live stream countdown. So again, I'll leave a link to this page in the description. For all we know, it might be gone by the time this video goes up. But just know that this is, again, 100% fake. It's a fan-created Twitch channel. And I likely think it's an April Fool's prank because when the countdown ends, it's going to be on April Fool's Day. So we'll just have to wait and see. And the last thing we'll be discussing in this video today is has Rockstar already uploaded a Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer to their YouTube channel? So this is something we've talked about in previous videos, not only related to GTA 6, but Grand Theft Auto Online, Red Dead Online as well. One way that you can tell Rockstar is doing some activity is if you actually look at their YouTube channel, you can see how many videos they've uploaded. And if you find a discrepancy in the amount of videos they have on their channel, but the ones they've actually uploaded, you might be able to find that Rockstar has a privated or unlisted video. And many people today ended up clamoring about Rockstar uploading yet another unlisted video. However, as things currently stand, it looks like they still have 260 videos on their YouTube channel. And that matches the amount of uploads that you can see on a third-party video analytics site like Social Blade or something like that. They have 260 videos there. Now, if you go on Rockstar's YouTube channel and actually count all the videos, you'll find that there's only 257. So that begs the question, why are there 260, but you can only find 257? Well, that's because three trailers have been delisted or actually made privated. 
The Midnight Club Los Angeles Trailer 2, Grand Theft Auto Episodes from Liberty City Trailer, You'll Always Be the King of This Town, and Grand Theft Auto Episodes from Liberty City TV Spot have either been privated or removed. And we don't know why Rockstar decided to remove those videos. Maybe it was for some copyright reasons. So at this point in time, it doesn't look like they have a new trailer uploaded to their channel. And that is why you will find a certain discrepancy between the ones they have uploaded and the ones you can publicly see. It's because some have just been removed from Rockstar. Now on the subject of a Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer, I also think we would know it's coming. We wouldn't have to rely on looking at unlisted and privated YouTube videos. As we've discussed in previous videos that I've done here on the channel, Rockstar, when they announce a new game, will usually say like, hey, the trailer is coming out on this day at this time. That's exactly what they did for Red Dead Redemption 2, and that's exactly what they did for GTA 5. So it kind of takes the guessing game out of things as far as when we'll see a trailer for the game if it's announced and revealed soon. But anyways, that is all the information that I've got for you guys in this video today as we do our weekend Grand Theft Auto 6 roundup. One of the voice actors speaking out about b being involved in the title, a mysterious Twitch channel claiming to be official from Rockstar with a Grand Theft Auto 6 countdown timer and debunking the idea that a trailer has been uploaded to Rockstar Games' YouTube channel. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below on everything we discussed in this video today. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you guys did go on to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you wanna stay up to date on all the latest GTA and Red Dead Redemption videos that I'm doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work. And if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you guys in the next video.